Now we are going to look at the distributed system characteristics. What what identifies a particular system as a distributed system? In whatever context you are looking at it, either in a micro view or in a macro view. Now, one of the first things you need to note, in, you need to characterize it with, is resource sharing. Now, when I talked about having those processors embedded in all those devices spread around maybe a farm or the area whereby they are collecting that input data from, what I was what I was referring to was that in order to have such a system, you have to engage them in a solid um, sharing process. So both the hardware, which are the actuators or sensors, and the software, or which is the um, algorithm or software uh, that you, you wrote in order to narrate with the information that is coming from the hardware. And the narration, you already know that the system understands ones and zeros. It may be in binary format, whereby the system knows how to interpret these things to give us an inferred um, output. Then we also have what they call openness. Now, what do I mean by um, openness? Um, where you have different vendors all coming together to work, to work uh, in order for you to come up with this particular device, you have what they call them um, firmwares that they all share. In, and then um, connect all the so that all of them can work together. Like take for example this um, your laptop or your smartphone that you are holding. Do you think Samsung, like my phone, I use a Samsung phone. Do you think all the components inside that phone was designed by Samsung? No. The other vendors that they must have bought maybe the hard drive from the uh, the uh, bus systems. All the different components are being produced by different vendors. Now, these then these vendors have what they call their firmware that they share with the with the uh, the designer of the processor, and that is what is used to make everything work. So there's what they call the openness. There's no pass key, password, or whatever. Everything is just them. There's open sharing, and it is concurrent, meaning that concurrent processing to enhance performance. In this, uh, there's what they call uh, parallel computing. Parallel computing means that in the case whereby you are supposed to use a task in performing um, a processor to perform a task, you now have multiple of that processors working on the same task. Please take note of what I just said. You have a single task that was being performed or operated upon by a single processor. But in parallel computing, you have multiple of those processors tied together to work synchronously on that same task. So the performance of that of, of that system will be very, very high. So that's what I mean by it enhances um, performance because it uses that um, it uses that algorithm or rather that um, um, example I just gave to you that that par parallel computing is what is used to achieve this high performance. Now, we'll now also look at scalability. Yes, like I said, in a farm where you have all these sensors and actuators, which are the hardwares that relate with your central system, because there is a network that is wireless, then as long as you can, you can extend your network, you can get your, you can, you get your resources from as it's, it's very me, the idea is, is that it's very scalable sorry to see sorry i'm being distracted by thoughts I, I was looking at scalability and i said that to increase it increases the throughput by added new resources let me say that again it increases throughput by added new resources um there was a there was an application we used way back then, which was I think Windows NT. And um, when the, um, I think there was an upgrade and rest, or rather, okay, let me just leave that. What I'm trying to say is that 
the more resources that comes into a, a, a cloud system, whereby because of the, 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 the network that can be spread very, very wide, you can reach other units and bring them together. So that physical presence is no longer it's no longer um, um, bounding it just as the hardware. But what is now happening now is that you have a virtual system whereby different resources like the radio server and the rest all will be added into um, I, I said radio server just for an example. Maybe I'm looking at it again. Um, um, billion. But when you have different resources like your um, mail server, your um, radio server, like I just said, um, your print server, and all those resources combined together, it will increase the throughput. You understand? So the increased throughput is done by adding new resources. Maybe that's what it is. Uh, I should just say enforcement. Now we have the fault tolerance, the ability to continue in operation after a fault has occurred, meaning that there is a fallback redundancy is all over it because of the kind of network that is done. We are going to look that those are the um, distributed system characteristics. Then let's go down to the next slide. Now let's look at um, distributed system disadvantages. What are the disadvantages that comes with a distributed system? We look at um, office complexity. That is in order for you to tie all those um, units that we talked about um, together. It's usually very, very complex. And security is more, as, it's more susceptible to external attack because of the coverage, it is global. So it's more susceptible to external attacks. And the manageability um, is more effort required, sorry, more effort is required for system management. More effort is required, yeah, that's true, for system management because of the various um, um, units that are going to be handled. And um, in regard to unpredictability, un it is unpredictable Sorry, unpredictable responses depending on the system, organization, and network load. Yes, uh, when we say that there is this form of openness between uh, that characterizes a distributed system, it doesn't really mean that it is just um, all smooth like that. Uh, sometimes there are some there are some hitches that will cause the system to to fail. So let's go to the next slide. Mm -hmm. 